say you have a 4K 120 hertz panel, what is the way DF prefers to set up their games? G-Sync plus V-Sync plus V-Flex? Yes. In-game V-Sync, yes. just V-Sync. Often confused on which direction to go. I'd love to know what method you guys use. Uh, John, what method do you use? Simple G-Sync, V-Sync with Reflex. Yes. <laughs> it's the way. I mean, it just for me at least, it provides the most... For, this is going to vary per person, but it's about image fluidity and consistency. That's premium to me. Some people value extremely fast input response like ridiculous levels and like insane high frame rates. And they're willing to just go no V sync and just run it as fast as possible. Uh, and that's perfectly valid for other reasons. I just don't like the way it looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Oliver, have you um, given much thought to this? Um, G sync for plus V sync plus reflex, <laughs> basically uh same deal. <laughs> yeah. I don't like super high end cap frame rates. Yeah. I mean, it's just the best combination on PC. I would tend to think. Yeah, I think, you know, if you don't have V-Sync, that's the weird thing because you kind of have to dip into the control panel and force V-Sync on um, with, with G-Sync because otherwise if the game runs yep. at a higher frame rate than the refresh rate of your monitor, then you get tearing, which for me kind of rules out the entire point of having variable refresh rate, right? So, yep. you know, capping the performance level slightly beneath what would traditionally be the V-Sync level actually in, uh, reduces input lag, makes for a better experience. But ultimately that just, just solves the problem for me. And I do think 120, 144 Hertz is kind of like the sweet spot um, because it kind of introduces uh, an artificial cap to performance, which means that, you know, you don't get wildly varying uh, frame rates and 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 input response. So, yeah, that's kind of the way I would uh, suggest doing it. Um, the other options just don't really appeal to me. I mean, I recently I looked at the um, HP Omen laptop, and it's a really fantastic laptop. But I really missed um, the fact it didn't support G Sync because what it meant was it automatically limited the options in terms of getting a consistent experience. Um, and it's such a game changer in the PC space for sure. So yeah, G-Sync, V-Sync, Reflex, that's the way forward.